Well here we are on the home straight with our BSA A65 oil tap engine and obviously we know all about this one and why I call it that and I'm glad to say that the owner took my advice and listened to my suggestion and um, gave me the green light to get this SRM oil pump which I fitted. Uh, we checked the original one which I've got here and I found quite a lot of wear in it, even though it's the cast iron one which is supposedly um, superior to the Mazak one that uh, preceded it. Certainly was quite a bit of wear in that and obviously that would be um, verified and backed up by the fact that somebody felt the need to fit an oil tap to the bottom of the oil tank on the bike that uh, uses this engine which ended in disastrous results. So hopefully the owner can get rid of the oil tap, chuck it in the bin or keep it as a spare for a fuel tank if it's working properly but under no circumstances would I ever fit an oil tap to any oil tank. I'd rather have whatever small amount of hassle I might have to deal with as a result of wet sumping than a full-on engine rebuild thanks to a closed tap on the oil line coming from the tank so that's my opinion of it and I'm sure that this will solve his wet sumping problems anyway and what he's got to do when the engine's in the bike is um, he'll have to obviously connect the oil pipes up to the oil tank put oil in the tank of course and then what he's going to have to do is undo this oil pressure relief valve get it out and he'll have to turn the engine over on the kickstart with the spark plugs removed until he gets oil coming out of here and it, it will be seen to be pumping out it will come out in sort of spurts and once that's happened that'll uh, let him know that the oil pump is primed and that it's all ready to go and he can probably start the engine what I'm going to do as it's an end fed crank I'm going to apply my oil can the end of my oil can to the end feed on this um, it's actually a Devimede uh, conversion this one which predates the SRM which they became uh, but I'm going to squirt oil in through the end feed to help fill up the uh, sludge trap chamber. And obviously I oiled the big end shells when I assembled the crank. I, I oiled the journals on the crank as well. But um, get some oil pumped into there. That's not going to do any harm at all. And it'll be a, another small step towards helping the engine when it does actually fire up. But um, once he's got his oil through the pipes into the oil pump which will be verified by seeing it coming out of here with the oil pressure relief valve removed he should be ready to go for a start up and um, <clears throat> hopefully he'll just run it very slowly for a couple of minutes and check that there's uh, oil returning to the tank all the usual sort of stuff and he should be good to go for many 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 more miles to come all being well